In this video, we're going over the big differences between the Samsung Galaxy A20 and the new Moto G Stylus. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Also, if you like one of these phones and you decide you want to get one, we're going to leave a link below in the description where you can buy one, just as an FYI. Let's go ahead and jump right in and talk about the big differences between the Samsung Galaxy A20 and the Moto G Stylus. We always start with the software. Moto G Stylus came out this year, 2020. The A20 came out last year. So the A20 does come with an Android 9 version of Android and the G Stylus does have the new Android 10 software. So it does take it for that category, having a newer version of Android. Now when it comes to screen, both of these phones actually have the same screen size at 6.4 inches. A20 is gonna be a super AMOLED display and the Moto G Stylus is gonna be a just a full HD or FHD plus display. So kind of a tie there. Now camera wise, this is where uh, the G Stylus really does uh, shine. 48 megapixel main rear camera and there's a total of three cameras in the back. 16 megapixel front camera, whereas A28 megapixel front, 13 megapixel uh, dual rear camera. A20 does have a wide angle lens for the front and rear camera, so you're gonna be able to get uh, some wider shots there, but overall, the G-Stylus does have a better camera. Internal memory, uh, the G-Stylus blows the A20 out of the water, four times the storage at 128 gigs internal. Now, both phones are expandable with the micro SD card. Um, and you can go up to, I believe, at 512 memory cards. So you can expand, but you're getting a lot of storage to start out with on that G Stylus. Battery wise, they're both advertising a 4,000 milliamp battery, not removable, of course. Uh, now, on Moto's site, they do advertise that you can get up to two days on the battery. Um, we haven't tested that enough to uh, say if that's true or not, but we're just kind of sharing what's on the site. Samsung also has a 4,000 milliamp battery, but the site doesn't claim to be an up to two day battery life. So just thought that was important to note. Processor wise, um, you know, one is gonna be Samsung Exynos, one is gonna be uh, Qualcomm. Um, you are getting an extra gig of RAM on the stylus, four gigs versus three. So the model does take it in that category. And now let's jump into the weight. So I thought it was important to note that the A20 is slightly lighter than the G Stylus. I have a G Stylus right here and you could definitely feel that it's a little weightier and it's a little bit thicker in terms of the device. Um, so something important to keep in mind for those of you that are not big fans of heavy phones. Finally, we go into extra features and the spec sheets are pretty similar with these two phones. Some of the standout features are gonna be A20 does have NFC if you care about that. Um, Moto doesn't have that, but you are going to get uh, a stylus pen on the G stylus versus A20 doesn't have that. Um, and the Moto does have again that triple rear camera that is pretty awesome. Uh, and you're also getting uh, dual stereo speakers with that G stylus as well. Now I have some pictures here just so you can see the breakdown with the camera. So on the rear camera, on the A20, 13 megapixel main, five megapixel ultra wide camera. So just to compare, now with the Moto, 48 megapixel main sensor, and then you've got a macro vision sensor for up close pictures. You also have a ultra wide on the rear. So you can get some wide angle on theirs as well. And you've got the laser autofocus as well. So um, you're really getting a lot more with that G stylus camera. Um, so all in all guys, this was just a quick spec comparison. Wanted to show you guys the differences in these two phones. A20 was one of the hottest selling phones in 2019. And it looks like it's got some real competition with that Moto G Stylus. But we want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. Let us know how you feel about these two phones. Do you own either one of these phones? Are you considering buying one? And what are your thoughts after hearing the spec breakdown? Leave it in the comment section down below. Like the video if it was helpful. Favorite and share it. And stay tuned for more. Take care and have a good one.